starter William O'Sullivan as the tape pulled across. And Orphan Racing. So the Johalla Hunt November meeting of 2020 commences with this four-year-old mare's maiden. And as they travel through the first furlong, it's Sadie Yates, partnered here by James Hannan, who rode the four-year-old mare's winner yesterday at Liz Ronas, leading through the early stages from up there in second place. From this moment, representing Brian Jordan's yard. Third position is Dorian Lelute, and this one in turn is then followed down the inside there in fourth place by West Balboa. West Balboa represents Aidan Fitzgerald, who won this race 12 months ago with Queensbrook. Next up then towards midfield in the orange jacket, that's Simon Cavanaugh board Arctic Oscar for Dennis Murphy's team. Further back then towards the rear of midfield, you've got Ban Marie Anvil. She, in turn, is followed by Sadie Yates, written by Derek O'Connor, who clocked up a hat-trick yesterday at Liz Runner. And then towards the tail end of the field, we've got Quilcher Kroga in the green jacket, Michael Toomey's colours. And the back marker now, as they go to the third fence, is Petticoat Lady. Or Petticoat Lucy, I should say, as they get over it. So all over the first three fences safely, and the four-year-old mares are about to embark on their first full circuit. Two laps to go, and out in front at the moment is Sadie Yates. Leads here by about two lengths on the turn. Sadie Yates, track through in second place then by from this moment. Third position is Diane Lelute. And then sitting Upsides in fourth position, we have got Arctic Oscar, and on that one's inside West Balboa. So they're going at a steady tempo down the back straight now, and Sadie Yates increases her lead to about 3-4 now from, from this moment in second. In turn, there's about 2-3 then to the next pair, who are West Balboa and Doyen Lelute. Back to fifth place. We've got Arctic Oscar, and then comes Rock on Rita in the red and white stripes on the inside of Anne Marie Anvil. And still towards the tail end of the field at the moment are Petticoat Lucy and Quilcher Kroger. So they've all got over the first five fences safely, and we see the leader, which is Sadie Yates open up now into an advantage of about six lengths. So Sadie Yates for the Ian Power team, who had the four-year-old mayor's winner yesterday. This leads by six lengths as they turn into the home straight once again. Second place from this moment. And the purple jacket for the Doyles is a Doyen Lelute in third position. And that one. So as so they come over this next one, uh, it might have been calling Sadie Yates' Rock on Rita in front. So Rock on Rita out there in the lead in the pink and black striped colours at the halfway point. Rock on Rita leading by five, six lengths from this moment is in second. Diane Lelute, third, improving into fourth on the outside is Ban Marie Anvil. Next up in midfield is Os Arctic Oscar. And then down that one's inside sits West, West Balboa. So the order now is they're heading into the final mile and a bit of this race with five to jump. That's Rock on Rita, six, seven links in front. Second place is held there by From This Moment. In third place, Doyen Lelute. And then you have West Balboa, who's sitting down the inside of the two in the orange jackets, Ban Marie Anvil and Arctic Oscar. Improving a few places to latch on to about seven position then is Aidan Kendi's runner, Petticoat Lucy. And then we have the two at the back of the field there, Quilcher Kroga. And now Derek O'Connor is last aboard Sadie Yates. Over that next one, and all over it safely. But Rock on Rita, bowls along in front here. James Hannon had a look in the rear view mirror on this daughter of Scirocco. And she's stacking him up in behind. Second place now is Doyen Lelute, who moves up to join from this moment for the second position. 
And then Banmer Yanvel and Artig Oscar. So rising at the fourth last fence. Rock on Rita gets away from it nimbly. Leads by four lengths still as they move away from that. We lost one there. Jockey is just hidden behind uh, the fence. Can't pick it up at the moment. But anyway, in front is Rock on Rita. Is about five, six lengths in front. From in second place, easing through, coming with a run is West Balboa. Doyen Lelut is next, and then back in fourth place is uh, Arctic Oscar. And then there's a break in the field from the weakening from this moment. And after from this moment, we have Ban Marie Anvil, and the two behind that one are Sadie Yates. And the back markers that swing in is Quilcha Kroger, which means that Petticoat Lucy was the one we lost at the fourth last. Meanwhile, over the third last, and still at the head of affairs, it's Rock On Rita. James Hannon is kicking on from the front. West Balboa, who's travelled well, has now come off the bridle in second. They've drawn away from Doyen Lelut and then Arctic Oscar, but putting in a fine front running performance here this is rock on rita the daughter of shirocco down to the final fence she's not stopping as she comes to the final fence rock on rita by four or five lengths in second position is west balboa but rock on rita completes a great weekend for james hannon and ian power with these four-year-old mares as she makes every inch of the running to win from in second place west balboa they drew clear from the wexford pair mares fighting out third which goes to Diana Lute just ahead of Arctic Oscar and they in turn were there from, from this moment. And then Ban Marie Anvil and Sadie Yates. So victory goes the way of the Waterford runner there, Rock on Rita.